what's up? Welcome, welcome back to our YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'll be sharing on a few pens which you could use for your board exam. And as you guys know, pen plays a very, very important role in your examination because it totally decides your speed and you know how your handwriting looks. So I have quite a few pens with me which I'll test right now. So like there are so many and I'll give you guys a review and I'll finally tell which pen I would be choosing for my board examination. So yes, now without further ado, let's get right into the testing of all these pens. So guys, before starting on with the video, I would like to clear one very important thing that in my previous video where I was showing my pack with me, pack with me and I just told you guys that I was gonna use a gel pen. So many people were commenting that gel pens are not at all allowed. But this is the seventh point in our admit card which says you should carry only blue slash royal blue ballpoint gel fountain pen pencil eraser scale sharpener geometry instruments colors and all those things and this also mentions gel fountain pen and blue ballpoint so it, this means that you can use any sort of pen which is in blue color so yeah for everybody who is kind of confused here's the thing you should just read the seventh point of your admit card and i remember in the uh, previous exam which was term one only blue ballpoint pen was allowed but for this exam we have all these kinds allowed so yeah now without further delay let's get right into the testing of the pens so guys here i have the writing pad a paper and the pen which i'm gonna review today so first let's start with this one so this is the nataraj What's this? Nataraj Super X. I recently got this from a nearby stationery shop. And now let's kind of try and use it. And I'll write all the sentences in the same speed so that, you know, I can actually test whose grip is better and with which I'm able to write with a faster speed. So first, let's just write happy examination to you. Okay, so as you guys saw, I have written this whole sentence and that too in one straight speed. And you guys, I found that this pen is quite smooth in writing. It doesn't even cost much. I guess it is around two to three rupees. And this works perfectly. I love the smoothness and you know, it's totally worth the value. And plus like I'm able to write smoothly. Even the grip is pretty well and it's quite comfortable for me to write. So I would recommend this one. So just to repeat, this is the Nataraj Super X. And now let's move on to the second pen. So the second one is actually just a local pen. I'll show you. Yeah. So this is this Bali pen. I don't know. I think you call this the Bali pen itself. And it's in this nice pink color because I love pink. So why not? But yeah, let, that doesn't matter right now. And this is also a blue ball pen. So let's try on with this. This doesn't have any external grip, but it's quite comfortable to hold on. So I'll write the exact same sentence in the same speed, which is happy examination to you. So I have written this and there is not much difference in these two. I just found out that the uh, first pen, which was the Nataraj pen, that was a bit more finer. And this is a bit more thick so i would obviously recommend the first one over this but this is also very smooth and very comfortable to hold and write on so this is also very much recommended i think this was around for two rupees or something and it's totally worth it guys you can see i was really smooth and even the uh, writing speed is also pretty good with this pen so this is also a nice one and now let's move on to the next so next is this this is the nataraj glow yeah so this is the nataraj glow and I think many of you have already seen this pen because, you know, it's quite a famous one. And this is the traditional Natrajas, you know, that pencil style pen because of these lines and stuff. So now let's try this. This is also a blue gel pen, a uh, blue ball pen, sorry. And I'll write the same sentence again, which is happy examination to you so that's how it writes the speed was also fine but i found out that this was a bit less smooth than the above two i don't really know the reason but i think that this was a bit 
you know unsmooth or a bit rough than the previous two pens so this is also nice you can keep this as an option but i would recommend the above two more than this but yeah that's what it is like the speed is almost the same even the handwriting is almost the same but i feel that the above two are way better than this one so yeah that's it and now moving on to the next and one of the most famous pens and that's the cello butterfly like i think each and every student who goes to school has this pen and this is a very effective pen i feel and this is also a blue point pen blue point ball pen so i'll write this as well so happy examination to you so this is as usual one of the best pens you guys this is really smooth and you know as the name suggests butterfly so this is quite a nice and a handy pen the grip is also nice and this is a really good pen i actually got these in wholesale so i really don't know the per pen price of it but yeah it's a very worth pen i love this so much so i'll for sure even take this one for my examination and now coming on to the next one which is the octane gel pen so this was the one which i had prior mentioned that i would be you know taking to my board examination so see i first thought i'll take um this gel pen itself but i'll show you first i'll show you how this writes so see this pen writes up perfectly there is totally no doubt on its speed on its grip and everything else this is also waterproof so there is no tension of you know if water spills or is there any, if there is any water droplet so that might ruin your paper that's also not the tension but what happens in gel pens is like uh, once you you know turn on to a pace of writing once you are writing long paragraphs slowly the color starts to fade of the pen no matter how new it is and no matter how filled the ink is but it still slowly you know it starts to fade and i feel that's not good for a board exam it somehow affects your presentation as well i don't know if you guys have uh, faced this problem but i have faced with all the gel pens i have used till now that you know the ink starts to fade as we increase our speed or as you know start writing a lot no matter how much you know it is filled with ink but that still happens so that's the reason i'm not going to be taking this gel pen actually i discovered this after you know i practiced a lot with gel pens so that's when i discovered and i thought to you know uh, tell you guys that i want to be using a gel pen in my examination so that was this and now comes this pen so this is actually a new pen which i got i haven't tried it ever but this is an hosa pen hosa germany i show you guys the packet this is in which it came so i haven't you know yet used any pen of there but i thought to use this one because you know these pens are very satisfying to me for some reason and i love these kind of pens so i'll quickly try this one so guys this pen is amazing i have used it for the first time and i 110% recommend it because the writing experience is so good it writes in such a smooth way and even my speed it is really good with this pen and plus like even holding it due to its this kind of a sleek design it's very easy to hold it and you know the grip also comes very good so that's why i have actually decided to use this pen for my board exam and then i will be carrying these um four pens with me or i'll you know choose between these but i really like all these pens i totally say that you know these pens are quite good but it, there are times where you know you need to decide between gel and ball so i would rather prefer ball over gel pen for now i uh, like before i used to totally you know love gel pens and i do now so but um you know i when i practiced a lot with gel pens i found that ball pens are more long lasting than them so that's the reason i'm going to be using ball pens for now and this is the main pen which i'll be using so this is also recommended by me you guys can you know 
try and get this one because it's really good i'll once again show you the packet this is the one and that's the one i'm gonna be using for now so guys now you already know that which pen i would be using so you guys also comment down below which pen you are using for your board examination there is always an option for a fountain pen as well i'll show you guys which fountain pen i have it is the octane fountain pen itself i think i have showed you guys sometime before so this is also a good pen no doubt but i feel like writing with fountain pens is a bit more difficult than normal gel on ball pens because you're always conscious with them because like there's high chances of ink spilling here and there because of these tips i'll show you guys if you can see the tip of this i don't know how much it's visible but you guys tips generally they you know explode of ink and that's why i do not prefer to use um ink pens or fountain pens roller ball is also a good option but you know seeing all the stuff i feel that using ball pen is the very very best option and for um just in case you want to underline stuff for diagrams take a pencil a really good sharp pencil and i actually even got a eraser not eraser i got uh, this sharpener i'll quickly bring it and show you to you guys so guys this is the sharpener i am talking about this is the doms um sharpener which is covered so i prefer using such sharpeners during examination because um you know it's kind of tedious to use those open sharpeners and you know if you sharp and somehow the invigilator doesn't allow you to actually go to the dust bin and throw it out so the mess would be all around you and that's quite distracting so that's why i like such covered ones and this is actually an eraser also i yet haven't opened it but I'll open it and I'll see what it is. But yeah, I like to use such covered sharpeners, and that was all the things which I wanted to share with you all. So yes, the only the thing which you need to remember is to comment down below which pen you are gonna use for your examination. And all the best to everybody who has their board exams. And I'll meet you guys in my next video. Till then, stay safe and keep watching.